What's up guys, it's Mike, back with another video, and today we are taking a look at the 50 ounce Yonder bottle. I found this thing at Dick's Sporting Goods last night, and it was about $5 off, so instead of 30, it was 25, so I went ahead and picked it up. I also picked up this tether cap which is their new caps which some of the smaller bottles had them but all the 50 ounce ones I could not find it with the newer cap on it so we're gonna check this out too so I'm actually probably gonna open this first real quick so let me put this down so again not much going on with the packaging here it's just the cap itself and then a little bit of information on the back on the bottom here and I hope this should be easy to open yeah just cardboard here's the cap itself let's see if I can there we go. So it says Yeti. Yeah, you can see all the dust. Somewhere right here. Yeah, it says Yeti over to this side. I'm not sure what the other part. The other part says something. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in. I can't read that from here. But then it's got this little thing that I believe attaches to the chug cap, and you're just getting rid of that top portion. And then it does say Yeti on the top right there. And then of course, this spins so you can actually lock it in onto the bottle. The bottle itself is a 50 ounce, one and a half liter bottle. We're gonna take off this plastic real quick and then we'll take a look at that. Okay, so here's this. Let's see if we can get it to go. You wanna pause some of this to read it. There we go, there's the actual paperwork and then a little bit of stuff on the back. And then I believe they only had a green one and then I believe this is the cosmic lilac. I could be wrong. This is very blue or it's almost like a purplish tint and like certain light. I don't know, but it's pretty much the same bottle. It's just bigger version of the bottle. You've still got, again, the same chug cap that has the ridged with the little Yeti logo right here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There you go. And then, yeah, ridges all around. Screws off just like that. And then you can take it apart. Here's the actual cap itself. You got the clear part and then the rest is just plastic. So yeah, so this new cap right here, I believe just goes on, uh, it either threads on or you just push them on. I don't know, we're well, finding out right now. Okay, so yeah, I think it's locked into place at the bottom here. And then what you would do is you would take this part of the cap, screw that back on right here, and then you would take this part, and then it just screws on like that. So you still got a handle right here so you can hold it or connect it to something, but then this gives it, at least when you take your cap off, it's not going anywhere. It's just going to hit the bottle, versus this one actually comes off, so you'd have to potentially set it down somewhere and then run the risk of, I guess, losing it or leaving it as you're filling it up. I don't know. So I do kind of like that this, again, goes on just like that and then again you still get a handle um not really much change with the bottle just again the size you still get the yeti logo right here and yes it is dirty i gotta go wash this here in a second picking up from the store a lot of the bottles were dirty uh not much going on on the bottom besides the registration sticker you still got this big lip right here that runs down the side. And then other than that, there's really not much more to say about the bottle. It is quite big though, or hefty. So I got this, which is, I believe the 20 milliliter one, cause I've got a 20 or 25, no, this is a 25. I've got the 34, but the 34 is somewhere else at the moment. So you can hopefully kind of see the difference in size. This one's very wide. It's a little, yeah, it's actually a bit taller versus the other one. The 34 is just wider and a tad bit taller. This one beats it in size, definitely. And then again, you can see the difference between the two caps. So I think this is gonna replace my work because I've been taking this to work. This fits in the cup holder in the car perfectly. This I know now is not gonna fit in and it's probably not gonna fit into any of my bags unless I get like a carabiner to clip it on or some way to clip it on to one of the bags. This again holds a lot more water so it'll be more useful and last me longer throughout the day. Yeah, again, I don't have much else to say about this one. I like it. Again, I like the size. I'm gonna go clean this out. But I did before I go. So a lot of people ask um, in the comments on some of the other videos. So again, these caps do not go on to any of the other Yeti bottles because the threading is on the outside of the bottle versus the other Yetis. The threading is on the inside. So this threads inside the bottle rather than this is threading outside. But then I was also wondering if anybody else has had these bottles. So I guess from leaving it into the car. I don't know if you can see that. It is morphed, so I'm wondering, I assume probably leaving it outside in the sun would do the same thing. Let me see if I can get this part off and then show you the difference. Again, we have the brand new one right here that just came with the new bottle, and then we have this one, and see how 
the difference how this one's a perfect circle and this one's all morph. I believe this was again leaving it in heat so that is quite an issue because now if you leave it or if you fill it up too full because of the way again it kind of sticks out and is a little bit wider in some parts it'll leak a little bit and then so this one of course is fine so I'm going to try not to leave this in the car in the heat for too long. But that is like a major issue and one of the reasons I really wouldn't recommend the bottles are cheaper than the insulated ones. And again, I do use the other, the 25 or yeah, 24 or 25 ounce every day. I mean, I still use it, but it is, that's a big issue to have this thing like morph. And again, the only thing that I'll be able to do for this one is just make sure that I don't leave it outside. I'd wish they make a new cap that could handle the heat or handle leaving it in hot areas for longer. Cause I've never had that happen with any of the other Yetis that I have or any of the insulated ones with those caps. I've never had them morph like that. And I'm also wondering if it's because again, this is wrapping around the outside versus going inside. So maybe the, so maybe the caps that are going inside the bottle, because again, it's insulated it stays cooler longer that might be why they're saving it or it just might be more durable plastic because yeah because again i really like i don't mind these caps but again it's annoying that both of these look like that so again let me know in the comments below if you guys have had the same issues with that because again this would be a real reason not to buy any of these bottles whatsoever because again i know i'm going to use it whether again they've melted or not because they're still usable and again it doesn't always leak it's only if i fill it like way too high and then it gets through those little cracks but then for some reason after i drink to a certain point then i'm fine something to look out for We'll see how this one does and if I can keep prevent it from not happening. But if you guys have any of the Yonder bottles, let me know in the comments below what you think of them. If you like them, hate them, whatever. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.